Virginia CDL air brakes test. Question 1. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 2. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Proper adjustment of S-CAM Expansion of the brake drums Increase contact between the brake drums and linings Answer Expansion of the brake drums Question 3. The air compressor stops pumping air at what size? 150 125 100 Answer 125 Question 4. With air brake vehicles the parking brakes should be used whenever you leave the vehicle unattended only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections as little as possible answer whenever you leave the vehicle unattended question 5 for air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 100 125 150 Answer 100 Question 6 if your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance Balance the service brake system when you are parked Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 7. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 150 50 100 Answer 150 Question 8. The brake pedal in an air brake system Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Control the speed of the air compressor Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 9. The parking brake applies and releases. The brake pedal during normal driving. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 10. Controlled braking Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. 
is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 11. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths 1 half 1 fourth Answer 1 half Question 12. What is a dual error brake system? A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Answer a two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 13. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in a buildup of brake air pressure, the loss of brake air pressure, no change of brake air pressure. Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 14. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by Pressure Fluid Air Spring Answer Spring Question 15. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? If your brakes are very hot. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 16. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. Answer. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 17. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended As little as possible Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections Answer Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended Question 18. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly Answer A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly Question 19 When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal Air pressure is applied to the brake pads Compressed air is let go out of the system 
the air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Answer Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 20. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed oil Compressed hair Compressed gas Answer Compressed hair Question 21. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. Answer 60 pounds per square inch. Question 22. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check and fill the alcohol level Change the alcohol from a new bottle Check the oil for alcohol content Answer Check and fill the alcohol level Question 23. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 24. To test the air service brakes you should Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 25. The air compressor governor controls. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks, air pressure applied to the brakes. The speed of the air compressor. Answer When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 26. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 65 feet. 45 feet 32 feet Answer 32 feet Question 27 The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure Air Fluid Spring. Answer. Spring. Question 28. A slack adjuster's free plane needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One fourth inch. One half inch. One inch. Answer 1 inch Question 29 
To test the air leakage rate you should Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 30. What is a dual error brake system? A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Answer a two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 31. You should know that your brakes are fading when Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 32. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check the oil for alcohol content. Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Check and fill the alcohol level. Answer Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 33. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths 1 fourth 1 half Answer 1 half Question 34. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 75 125 150 Answer 125 Question 35. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 50 150 100 Answer 150 Question 36. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Emergency Foot S cam Answer Emergency Question 37. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. Answer Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 38. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. 
the S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 39 The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Downshift Upshift Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 40. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Increase contact between the brake drums and linings Expansion of the brake drums Proper adjustment of S-CAM Answer Expansion of the brake drums Question 41. The S-CAM forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S-CAM because It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter Z. Answer it is shaped like the letter S. Question 42. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels. Release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 43. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 44. Why must air tanks be drained? To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. Answer To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 45 The proper method of braking when going down a long end or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 15 10 5 Answer 5 Question 46 Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to two. Distance Brake lag Effective braking Reaction distance 
answer. Ray Clag. Question 47, the emergency brake system. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 48. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Brake lines to plug Modulating control valve to wear out Brakes to fade or fail Answer. Breaks to fade or fail. Question 49. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause. Brake linings to split up. Modulated control valve to wear out. Brake fade or failure. Answer. Brake fade or failure. Question 50. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 51. The emergency brake system. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 52 To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes, you should park on. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 53. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used Anytime the vehicle is parked To hold your speed when going downhill As little as possible Answer Anytime the vehicle is parked Question 54. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. 
Question 55. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Bolts and braces Air pressure Springs Answer Air pressure Question 56. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 65 feet. 45 feet. 32 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 57. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least Psi 80 100 120 Answer 100 Question 58 the parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure fluid air spring answer spring question 59 in air brake vehicles the parking brake should be used any time the vehicle is parked as little as possible to hold your speed when going downhill answer any time the vehicle is parked question 60 you should know that your brakes are fading when the brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 61. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths. 1 fourth. 1 half. Answer. 1 half. Question 62. To test the air leakage brake you should Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 63. Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Answer. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 64. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 50. 60. 70. 
60. Question 65. The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 15 10 5 Answer 5 Question 66 Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Foot S cam Emergency Answer Emergency Question 67 Why must air tanks be drained? To drain all the air out of the tank To tell you how much air is in the air tanks To drain moisture and oil out of tank Answer to drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 68. What are spring brakes? Brakes used for parking. The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Answer. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 69. The air compressor governor controls. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. The speed of the air compressor. Air pressure applied to the brakes. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 70. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 100. 150. 125. Answer. 125 Question 71 What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To have a drink available if you get thirsty To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 72. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed oil. Compressed hair. Compressed gas. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 73. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used to hold your speed when going downhill as little as possible. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Answer. Any time the vehicle is parked. Question 74. What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Not taking your foot off the accelerator. 
Answer. Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 75. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. Answer. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Question 76. Why must air tanks be drained? To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 77. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Answer. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 78. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Increase contact between the brake drums and linings Expansion of the brake drums Proper adjustment of SCAM Answer Expansion of the brake drums Question 79. The brake pedal in an air brake system Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Control the speed of the air compressor. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 80. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Answer. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 81. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 45. 20. 60 Answer 45 Question 82 The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure Spring Air Fluid Answer Spring Question 83. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. 
Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 84. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed gas Compressed hair Compressed oil Answer Compressed hair Question 85. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? After every four hours of service. At the end of each day of driving. Once a week. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 86. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 87. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Increased contact between the brake drums and linings Proper adjustment of S-CAM Expansion of the brake drums Answer Expansion of the brake drums Question 88. What is another name for controlled braking? Hard braking Steady braking Squeeze braking Answer Squeeze braking Question 89. The service brake applies and releases in the event of an emergency, the brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving, the parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 90. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 91. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 92. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Only on the slippery road. Only when driving downhill. Never. 
Answer. Never. Question 93. If oil and water collects in the air tanks what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 94. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Air brakes use different brake drums. Brakes require heavier return springs. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 95. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in A buildup of brake air pressure No change of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 96. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 100. 120. 80. Answer. 100. Question 97. What are spring brakes? The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Brakes used for parking. Answer. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 98. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake. Move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 99. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Modulating control valve to wear out. Brakes to fade or fail. Brake lines to plug. Answer Brakes to fade or fail. Question 100. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 60. 45. 20. Answer. 45. Question 101. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. 
stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 102. If oil and water collects in the air tanks what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could lock up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could heat up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 103. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 104. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Wedge drum, disc drum, S cam drum. Answer S cam drum. Question 105 The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency, the parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 106. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 107. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air. Air brakes use different brake drums. Brakes require heavier return springs. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Answer. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 108. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. S cam. Emergency. Foot. Answer. Emergency. Question 109. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. 
Question 110. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels. Release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 111. If oil and water collects in the air tanks what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 112. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 113. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 114. What is another name for controlled braking? Hard braking. Steady braking. Squeeze braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 115. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 1 2 3 Answer 2. Question 116. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S cam brakes will not be set properly. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 117. To test the air service brakes you should Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 118 The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Upshift 
stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 119. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the raw dolt which moves the, which twists the brake camshaft and tie rod, slack adjuster and tie rod, slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Answer Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Question 120. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the raw dolt which moves the, which twists the brake camshaft and tie rod, slack adjuster and tie rod, slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Answer Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Question 121. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Bolts and braces Springs Air pressure Answer Air pressure Question 122. What are the slack adjusters? It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 123. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 124 In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? Less than 100 feet. From 100 to 250 feet. More than 300 feet. Answer More than 300 feet. Question 125 For air brake systems in good condition. The air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 150 100 125 Answer 100 Question 126 your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed.
Question 127. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. Use of the front brake limiting valve. Use of the spring brakes. Answer. Braking effect of the engine. Question 128. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 129 To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheel's locked. Put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked. Put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 130. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 25 35 30 Answer 35 Question 131 The parking brake applies and releases The brake pedal during normal driving In the event of an emergency The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control Answer the parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 132. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One inch. One fourth inch. One half inch. Answer. 1 inch Question 133 What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather To have a drink available if you get thirsty So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often Answer To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 134 What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Not taking your foot off the accelerator. Answer Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 135 When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the S-cam. 
Brake drum. Slack adjuster. Answer. Brake drum. Question 136. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 150. 125. 100. Answer. 125. Question 137. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly Answer a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 138. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.